हेलो व्यूअर्स इन टूडेज क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस वन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड कॉन्सेप्चुअल प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम लिमिट्स राइट सो हियर वी हैव दिस प्रॉब्लम दैट इज वी हैव टू फाइंड दिस लिमिट वेन एक्स टेंस टू जीरो एंड वी हैव साइन ऑफ ग्रेटेस्ट इंटीजियर ऑफ एक्स डिवाइडेड बाई एक्स राइट सो इन ऑर्डर टू फाइंड आउट दिस लिमिट वट वी विल डू विल फर्स्ट फाइंड आउट द राइट हैंड लिमिट and then uh, we'll find out the left hand limit right so uh, when uh, the right hand limit and the left hand limit if both the limits are finite or they both exist and they are equal then we can say that uh, the limit uh, x tends to 0 of uh, this function uh, that is say f of x then it exists right so for uh, the limit x tends to 0 Uh, to exist both the right hand limit and the left hand limit uh, should exist and they must be equal right so let us first find out the uh, right hand limit so the right hand limit uh, uh, the notation for right hand limit is the limit x tends to 0 uh, plus right so here we'll write a positive sign and then uh, we'll write this function that is sine of greatest integer of x divided by x right so now uh, to uh, move further uh, what we will do uh, we'll take x is equal to 0 plus h right because see uh, here we have the point x is equal to 0 and uh, we are calculating the right hand limit it means we are approaching towards x is equal to 0 from the right of x is equal to 0 and all the values which lies towards the uh, right of x is equal to 0 are greater than 0 right because here uh, h is a very small quantity but it is greater than 0 and less than 1 right so here uh, we have uh, uh, x is equal to 0 plus h and uh, h lies between Zero uh, and one, right? So when uh, x tends to zero, then obviously h tends to zero, right? So now uh, the right hand limit uh, can be written in terms of h, that is limit, and for x tends to zero plus, we can write h tends to zero, right? And here we have the sine of greatest integer of x, and for x we can write 0 plus h and here in the denominator we have 0 plus h now we can uh, simplify it so we have limit h tends to 0 sin and 0 plus h is h and for uh, here we have greatest integer of h and in the denominator we have h right okay now here uh, we cannot directly substitute h is equal to 0 right because see here we have greatest integer of h and we must assign value to this greatest integer of h right so what we will do will uh, make use of this important uh, inequality right so h lies between 0 and 1 and h is a very very small uh, quantity right so when h lies between 0 and 1 obviously the greatest integer of h should be equal to 0 because this is due to the definition of greatest integer function uh, when h lies between 0 and 1 the value of greatest integer of h is 0 for example say if we take h is equal to 0.00001 and the value of greatest integer of 0.00001 is obviously 0 right so now Uh, here we have limit h tends to 0 and for greatest integer of h we can write 0 so here we have sin of 0 divided by h and sin 0 is equal to 0 so this limit is now equal to 0 right so the right hand limit of this function when x approaches to 0 from the right of x is equal to 0 is 0 so here we'll write the uh, right hand limit is equal to 0 now let us uh, find out the 
left hand limit so the left hand limit can be written as limit uh, here the notation is x tends to 0 minus and we have the function sine of greatest integer of x over x right so now we'll uh, follow the similar steps here and we'll take x is equal to 0 minus h right so while finding out the left hand limit uh, we should substitute 0 minus h why because uh, in this case we are approaching towards x is equal to 0 from the left of x is equal to 0 right and all the values which lies uh, uh, towards the left of x is equal to 0 are less than uh, 0 right so that's why we have taken x is equal to 0 minus h so now uh, when x tends to 0 obviously h tends to 0 and here uh, for h uh, this uh, condition holds that is uh, h lies between 0 and 1 right so now here we can uh, write the left hand limit as the limit and now we have h tends to 0 we have sine of greatest integer of x so we can now write here greatest integer of 0 minus h divided by uh, 0 minus h right so now the uh, left hand limit uh, can be written as the limit uh, here we have h tends to 0 and we have sine of greatest integer of minus h divided by minus h right so now uh, here again we cannot directly substitute h is equal to 0 uh, instead what we will do uh, we'll uh, try to find out the value of uh, the greatest integer of minus h right so we know that h lies between 0 and 1 and if we uh, multiply throughout by minus 1 uh, then we'll get 0 then the uh, the direction of the inequalities get reversed here so we have this inequality right so what we have done uh, we have multiplied this inequality throughout by minus 1 so we have got this one and this one can also be written as minus 1 then here we have minus h and then we have 0 right so this uh, inequality suggests that minus h lies between minus 1 and 0 right so minus h lies between minus 1 and 0 so whenever minus h lies between minus 1 and 0 then the value of greatest integer of minus h uh, must be equal to minus 1 right so now uh, here we have limit h tends to 0 we have sine of minus 1 and here we have minus h and now we can write limit h tends to 0 sine of uh, uh, minus uh, theta is equal to minus of sine theta this is from trigonometry and here we have minus sine of 1 divided by minus h minus and minus get cancelled and we have uh, limit h tends to 0 and we have sine 1 over h right so now if we take sine 1 uh, outside this uh, limit sign so we have sine 1 and we have a limit h tends to 0 1 over h right and we see that sine 1 is a finite quantity and uh, limit h tends to 0 uh, 1 over h is not defined here right so uh, this limit that is the left hand limit it does not exist right so this is not defined and uh, we see that the left hand limit of uh, uh, this function when x approaches to 0 is uh, not defined right so we conclude that the right hand limit uh, uh, although it exists and it is finite but the left hand limit is not defined hence they are not equal so we uh, we can claim that the limit of this function when x tends to 0 it does not exist right